Twitter Ads Tutorial. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you about Twitter ads and how you can create your very own Twitter ads. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to ads.twitter.com. Now, once you come over to this website, this is how it will look like in front of you. They will give you a pop up and over here, you will have to choose your objectives. So over here, as you can see, we have quite a lot of objectives. We have awareness, we have consideration, and then we have conversions. So in awareness, we have reach. Basically, we want to maximize our ads reach. And then in consideration, we have a couple of different options such as video views. We have pre-roll views, app installation, website clicks, engagement, and followers. And then in conversion, we have app re-engagement. Basically, we want to get people to take action within your app. Choose whichever objective we want to choose. Let's just say that our objective is website clicks. So we'll check that option and then we'll click on next. So once we do that, this is how it begins over here. As you can see, uh, we have to enter in all the campaign details, such as the campaign name. Then we have to add in the funding source, basically, which is credit card. We can't change that as of right now. And then we have daily budget. Then we have total budget. And over here on the left side, as you can see, this is the campaign and this is the campaign detail. And then down below, we have ad groups, uh, which we will get to that later. And then uh, in ad groups, we'll have quite a lot of things to talk about. So we'll take our time over there. So let's just get to it. So the first thing that you want to do is enter in the campaign name. So simply enter in the name of your campaign. Let's just say that our objective is website clicks. So we'll name the campaign as website clicks. And then down below, we have our daily budget and then we have our total budget which is optional but i think that total budget is pretty good we should have a estimated amount of budget so that the cost of our campaign does not exceed that budget so it is good to keep a track of money so let's just assume that our daily budget is ten dollars and then our maximum budget is one hundred dollars and then once you have you know entered in your budget you can go ahead and add in the time and date of your budget basically the start and end of it so let's just assume that our campaign should start at the 10th of october in 2021 and it should start at around 12 a.m and then we can specify the ending date as well so let's just say that our campaign ends in 10 days so it should end in 20th of october at 12 a.m so once you have entered in your campaign details we can move on with ad campaigns simply click on next and over here we will have our ad campaign we will have ad groups so over here on the right side as you can see we have the recommended audience size so this is the estimated audience that we are going to be you know uh, targeting so as you can see right now it's where over here which is not available but as soon as we finished adding the details to our campaign hopefully we'll get to that goal as well so the first let's just add in the name of our ad group so our ad group i'm just gonna write website group so this is going to be my ad group name and then down below we have a estimated ad budget for this one as well so let's just say assume we have a hundred dollars for this one as well then we can specify the starting time and the ending time of this ad group as well so and as you can see i just clicked it, it it automatically detected the time and once you have done that your goal is to have link links over here which is recommended and then down below you have bid strategy basically over here uh, we have three options we have auto bid target cost and maximum bid let's just keep it automatic so that twitter can handle the bidding system on its own we don't have to worry about the hassle and then down below we have pay by link so if you click on measurement option we can add in the link that we want but as of right now we'll keep it simple and we'll not add any other links and then after that we have the most important option of all we have the demographics so over here we'll be basically adding the demographics of our audience basically if we want to target women or men or both we choose that that option let's just keep it at any let's just say both we, we don't care about gender as of right now we just want clicks to our website and then down below we have age so basically if you want to specify a specific age group of people that you want to target then you can specify that age group and if you don't care about age and you just want to have like people come into your shop then let's just say that all ages are welcome and then down below you have locations and over here you can add in the location of the specific country that you want for example if you think that your product is doing very very well in this specific country 
then you can go ahead and add that location over here as well and then you can also add in the language of that country as well and then down below you have devices basically operating system basically what devices people use to you know uh, use Twitter so that you can target them as well now we have a couple of different options over here so we have iOS Android other mobiles and then we have desktop now for a market standpoint I would say if you want to have a bigger reach then I would suggest Android because Android has a bigger market because a lot of companies use Androids. We have Samsung, we have Motorola, we have Sony, we have OnePlus, we have all these different companies that use Android system. Whereas for iOS, we only have Apple. There aren't many companies that use iOS. So that is going to be limited for us. So we want to have a bigger reach. So I would suggest using Android. So after you've chosen the Android, you can specify the model and carrier as well. But we're not going to get into that kind of detail. We just want to keep it specific and we want to keep it simple so once you have added the operating system and device then we move on to custom audience basically over here you can add in the custom audience that you've already created from your other ads or websites or links that you have accumulated if you want to include them or not you can go ahead and add them over here but we don't care about all the specifics we just want to start our campaign this is going to be our first campaign so we of course we don't have a specific or custom audience so we'll leave that at blank and then down below we have targeting features so over here we'll have keywords we'll have follower lookalikes we have interests movies and tvs events and conversation topics as well so for keywords if you want to have uh, like different keywords and you want to target those type of people that associate themselves with those keywords that you can go ahead and add those keywords over here and then you have follower lookalikes basically if you want to reach people that have similar interests to the accounts that you want to target then add those over here and then you will be able to target them as well and then down below we have interests basically things that people like to click on that people like to watch that tweet and retweet about those kinds of interests are going to be over here you can go ahead and add them to get a better and broader reach for your ads and then same you can do that for movies events and conversation topics as well like you can go ahead and add all of these different topics and targeting features add as much information as you want to have a more successful campaign and once you've done that you have placements places of the home screen where you want your ad to be shown so over here you will have home timelines profiles or search results or all of them you can select whichever one you want or you can keep all of them and then down below you have twitter audience platform basically extending your reach to twitter audience platforms and over here you have native banner you have medium rectangle you have full screen portrait or full screen landscape whichever aspect of the screen you want you can keep that over here and then down below you have add category you simply add in the category that your ad falls into and then over here you will add in the website uh, basically add in the link to your website or application or whichever one you want which is going to allow people to click on it and go visit your website and then down below you have creatives over here you will be able to you know to keep a track of all the tweets and uh, retweets about your campaign and you can keep an eye on the progress and see if it's working or not and once you have done that and added all the details all you have to do is simply click on next and over here you will be able to review your campaign see all of the things that you've added and see if everything looks good if you want to change the detail you can go ahead and click on the edit button over here and edit the detail but if everything looks good all you have to do is simply click on launch campaign and then your campaign will be launched so that is it for this video guys that is how you basically place ads on twitter hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye